Hey look, my July Scholar Box arrived at a somewhat normal time for me over here in Canada. Do I dare hope the August Box will too? I'll probably still no box art box it, but we'll see. Hello and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. Two weeks ago, I shared my no box art box replication of the July 2020 Scholar Box, and now the real thing is here, so let's do it again, but with the real supplies. I'll try to grab Amazon listings for all the products and put them in the description box down below if you're interested in the individual items, or you can always buy the whole box from Scholar Box's past boxes store. I do have a referral link for Scholar Box in the description that earns both of us three pounds worth of points if you subscribe or make a purchase after clicking through with my code. I'm not sponsored by Scholar Box, by the way, though I would love to be. Everybody with a subscriber account on their new site has a code. I'll be running through the menu card and discussing each item the box sent, then we'll chat about the challenge, the piece, and my overall feelings about this month's box. I'll be quoting the RRP prices in Great British Pounds from the menu card, but I will have price conversions to US dollars and Canadian dollars down below, along with real world retail price, cost versus value, savings calculations, and all the usual good stuff, so you can decide whether or not this box, the service, or services like it are worth it for you. The first item on the card is three Derivan liquid pencil tubes rewettable. Liquid pencil is an innovative graphite paint that allows you to create authentic graphite pencil effects and pencil sketches using a liquid medium. It can be thinned with water to allow for the softest of colors to be applied with a brush, nib, or other art tools. It is great for covering large areas quickly and easily, and the color can be built up in layers. Due to a precisely balanced formulation, another great benefit of the re liquid pencil allows you to remove areas using water, akin to watercolor technique, and it is possible to lift some pigment with a traditional eraser. RRP is £3.99 each for a total of £11.97 for the trio, and seriously someone needs to be hired on at Scholar Box as a proofreader for these menu cards because my goodness those are some serious run-on sentences and yes if you're reading the captions i did write a run-on sentence to complain about a run-on sentence i'm making a point we have the colors gray nine blue and yellow and as i noted when i was making color selections in the no box art box version of this box the yellow is quite cool toned and earthy almost green the blue is just barely more blue than the dark gray. My yellow tube is seriously messed up. Shipping was not kind to it. It's crinkled, it feels like there's less paint in it, the plastic flip cap doesn't fit snugly at the base of the tube's neck so it leaks whenever it's squished now that I've opened it, and I'm looking at this tube as the culprit for what put marks all over my hand when I first unboxed this stuff. Scrawlerbox is excellent about replacing missing and damaged supplies, but apparently very forgetful about replacing missing menu cards. Still don't have my December menu. So if one of your tubes looks like this, let them know. They'll send out a new one. I'm not personally going to ask for a replacement because I don't see myself continuing to use this product anyway. More on that after we get through the rest of the menu card. If you do think you'd like this product and you want to order straight from the manufacturer, they have provided a discount code. I'll also have this typed in the description box, don't worry, but if you shop at derivan.au slash scrawler and use the code scrawlff20, then you'll get free international shipping on your order. Again, not sponsored. This info is printed on everybody's card and it's the same info for everyone, so it's an open offer. The next item on the card is a pair of Derwent water-soluble sketching pencils. These Derwent water-soluble sketching pencils will enable you to create an incredible range of dramatic effects. They have a soft, wide core that makes them perfect for creative, loose, bold lines when dry, and when you add water, either with a brush or simply by dipping the pencil, graphite will gently dissolve, lending you to create subtle tonal shifts and softer pencil line work. They are ideal for creating expressive tonal drawings, detailed line work, and expressive washes in your artwork, making them a highly versatile addition to your artist arsenal. RRP is £1.80 each for a total of £3.60 for the pair. 
We got the medium wash 4B and dark wash 8B pencils. I bought the six pencil tin with two each of the light, medium, and dark washes ages ago, so I'll use my own already used pencils and tuck these new ones away for the giveaway. Yes, I'm hosting a giveaway. More on that in a few minutes. These are pretty basic water-soluble graphite pencils. Derwent sketching pencils, soluble or not, aren't my favorite because I don't personally like the wider leads. There's nothing wrong with them though, so if you don't mind or even prefer the wider leads, these are great. Personally, I love my Faber-Castell 9000 water-soluble graphite pencil if I'm going to use one. We have the opportunity to paint, so we need a paintbrush. Item number three is the Scrawlerbox Flat Synthetic Brush Size 10. This Scrawlerbox Flat Synthetic Brush is the perfect instrument for defined and precise brush strokes in your artwork. It has Colonex synthetic hair and a nickel-plated brass ferrule, making it a very attractive addition to your paintbrush collection. Its short mahogany handle makes for comfortable use and is ideal for watercolor applications and all liquid media. RRP is £3.50. I believe I estimated the price at £2.50 when I priced my replicated Nobox Artbox version the other week, and that was based on the Scrawlerbox branded number 10 flat brush they sent in the 2019 July box. I have no idea why this one is a whole pound more expensive. It is a nice brush for what it is. I stand by what I said in the Nobox Artbox video that I'm rather tired of being sent a single brush in these boxes and being asked not to use a variety of my own brushes, but at least a flat brush gives us the option to use the width or just the edge for a lot of line variety. Round brushes, especially in the smaller 4-6 to six sizes boxes like to send, just aren't as versatile. They make sense for details, but not for big area coverage. Next on the card is the Koinor Combined Eraser. This eraser comes with a two-part erasing ability. The soft end, white, is designed for erasing medium to light graphite lines, and the firmer end, gray, is great for erasing darker graphite and ink lines. It is a perfect pairing for use with the Derivan liquid pencil. RRP is 30p. If I could find a Canadian seller for this, I would buy it in a heartbeat because that's way cheaper than the Tombow sanded erasers, but the gray end seems to be just as effective. If anyone watching is really familiar with Koinor products, can you point me in the direction of their product name for an eraser that's just the gray end? Last but not least, our surface. We have the Etival A5 Cold Press Pad 300 GSM 8 sheets. This high quality paper is made from 300 GSM of pure cellulose watercolor paper. It has a slight grain-like texture and has a natural white color made without acid or optical brighteners. It is light resistant and very absorbent, making it ideal for all wet applications, but is suitable for every kind of wet or dry techniques. RRP is estimated at £4.99, as this is a custom pad for Scrawlerbox. This is a Clairefontaine line, by the way, and I totally called it on this being a wood pulp paper in my Nobox Artbox commentary. It is quite nice, which does not surprise me. I have yet to be disappointed by a Clairefontaine paper offering. I'm still holding out hope that Scrawlerbox will send pastel matte, though. The Scrawler Box prompt for the July box is Mother Nature. For the No Box Art Box version, I did a simple landscape. This time, I decided to draw a mother and baby pair of giraffes. The featured artist this month was Katarzyna Kmiesik. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And she does absolutely gorgeous watercolor paintings. From the interview sections in this month's zine, it sounds like she's just as new to liquid pencil as we are. Overall impressions? I really don't think I like liquid pencil. I would assume the color selection we got is just crappy, but someone on Instagram who misunderstood what I was posting when I shared my Nobox Artbox piece was shocked by how vibrant my colors were. I really don't like how muted and dull these shades are, and I don't think it can be blamed entirely on the nature of graphite, because I used water-soluble tinted graphite last time. Derwent's Graphite Tint line has much more vibrant colors. It's a shame that my yellow tube is messed up and will probably dry out quicker than the others, because that's the one I like best. But like I said earlier, I'm not going to go complain to Scrawlerbox and get a replacement, because I don't think I'll use these much in the future. If they were all perfectly intact and I was confident that they wouldn't explode in shipping, I would add them to the giveaway pile. 
which is a nice segue into the giveaway, hey? <laughs> I'm holding an international giveaway once I qualify for the YouTube Partner Program. I've hit the 1k subscribers requirement now thanks to all my wonderful subscribers, but I do still have some catching up to do with the total watch hours requirement, so we're not there yet. Keep watching my videos all the way through if you'd like to see the giveaway happen sooner. The giveaway will include a whole bunch of new and like new Tested Once art supplies, as well as a small custom artwork, and I am willing to ship internationally. All you have to do to be eligible is be a subscriber on this channel, age 14 plus as per YouTube policy, and be able and willing to provide your mailing address if you win, and living in a country that can receive a package from Canada. If you're looking for more to watch, I've got some suggestions up on the left side of the screen now, or if you'd like to check out my book channel, The Westville Archives, go ahead and click on my face on the right. I upload art content here twice a week at minimum, every Tuesday and Thursday, and if you like living life creatively, whatever that means to you, I'd love to have you along for the ride. Bye guys!